Hi, this is Mrs. Wiederholt, and welcome to my lesson video on end behavior. Now let's get started. The end behavior of a function describes what happens to the f of x values as the x values either increase towards positive infinity or decrease towards negative infinity. First, we need to remember what f of x values are. They are simply the y values on any given function. Also remember that x values are the independent values and f of x or y values are the dependent values. So basically, in behavior is describing the direction that your y value is going as your x value either increases, meaning goes in a positive direction, or as it decreases or goes in a negative direction. So now let's look at some notation so you can see how we will write this mathematically. First, we will look at what I've written in green. You read this statement as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches, and we're just going to use a blank. It's either going to be positive infinity or negative infinity. Now, both of these arrows refer to going towards something or approaching something. So, I just want you to remember that when you see those arrows, you use the word approaches. So, here we go again. Let's say it again. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches, and we would put here positive or negative infinity. Now, let's look at the statement in red. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches blank. Now, like I said, this will depend on the graph, and it will depend on the direction that the graph is going. So the answer would either be positive or negative infinity. Again, the arrows mean approaches. It's approaching something. So I just want you to remember when you see those arrows, you would say approaches. So let's say it one more time. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches blank. Now, let's look at some actual examples of graphs, and I think this might make a little more sense. In our first example, we have a linear graph. And so, to write our first end behavior statement, we need to look at this graph, and when x is increasing in a positive direction, when your x values are increasing towards positive infinity, what are the y values doing, or the f of x values? Well, they are also increasing. As you move positively towards the right, you're also moving positively up, upward. So we would write the first statement like this. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. Now let's look at the second end behavior statement. Now this one has to do when your x value is approaching negative infinity. We want to know what the f of x value is approaching as the x value is approaching negative infinity. So if we go leftward, we see that the x values are decreasing and what is the or what are the f of x values doing? They're also decreasing. So in this statement, we would say as x approaches negative infinity, f of x also approaches negative infinity. Does that make a little more sense seeing it on a graph? Now let's look at our next example. This time we have a quadratic graph. Now remember, our first end behavior statement has to do with the x value increasing, okay? So what is the f of x value doing if the x value is increasing? Well, it's also increasing. That's how we get this curve going upward towards the right. So we would write this like this as x approaches positive infinity, 
f of x is also approaching positive infinity. Now let's see what is happening to the f of x values as the x values are going in a negative direction. Okay? So our x values are going in a negative direction and guess what? Our y values are now going in a positive direction. See if we go back to linear as our x values were decreasing going in a negative direction our f of x values were also decreasing. But in this quadratic graph as our x values are decreasing or going towards negative infinity our f of x values are actually going towards positive infinity. So that means this statement would be written it like this. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. Now I hope this video has helped you understand end behavior. If you need to rewatch or replay any part of this, please do so. I look forward to working with you again. Bye-bye.